And three, two, one. Welcome back to Jones and for Fun Beer Review. I'm got Chris. Chris. I'm Nick. Got Nick back. We are reviewing today one of Nick's favorites. Wild Blue um, Premium Blueberry, Blueberry Lager. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites. Well, maybe it is, but it's just really good in my opinion. Okay. It's not one of his favorites, but it's really good. It's up so, there. Uh, uh, you want to pop them open? I'm excited. Let's pop them open. I'm, this is something new. I can't tell I love fruity drinks. It's got a cool label. That I smell. Can smell blueberries. I can smell blueberries right away. So uh, let's just pour them, get them in. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> it looks like wine, guys. Oh my gosh. I think wine is this actually beer. I, now it's I do want lager. I mean, I do want to point out it's 8%. It is 8% alcohol. It's a pretty heavy beer. Um, it's going to be a good heavy one. Oh, it does remind me. There's that, definitely blueberries in it. They, it just blueberry the juice color. as well. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Uh, it, it does. It, it, it smells, smells like blueberries it smells too. Really, really it good. Smells good. It kind of reminds me of like what an, uh, what I had imagined. I've never had the Red's blueberry ale. I've never had that either. Uh, I want it, but uh, I think that's what it smells like. What it would what it would smell like. If it's anything like this, it's a win. It's got a cool label. Little bulldog on the front. Kicking a blueberry. Yeah. Kind of cool. Anyway, let's just dive into it, people. Yeah. You want to know what it smells like? It smells like blueberries. It smells, it smells like, like heavy blueberries. blueberries. Go ahead, Nick. So let's dive into it. Very, uh... I see why you like it. <laughs> yeah. It's so fruity. It doesn't uh, really even taste like beer. It just tastes... There's literally no beer taste to it. I'm not, I'm getting like a little. You you get a little bit of beer taste, but. It literally goes away. I could, I could see it as uh, like a blueberry juice. I, yeah, I get a lot like, of blueberry <laughs> juice with this. This would be de like, deadly. This is deadly. <laughs> uh, this is very deadly. It folks. does not taste like it is 8% alcohol. It does not. No. I mean. Man. This literally tastes like juice. Yeah. Like. Not even. Oh my God. And is it like a little bit of like an alcoholic like. Just early right aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. And uh, then you get that little like taste of beer right at the beginning. Man, this it's a good one. Uh, this is really sweet. I do not, have to. It's not overpowering on the sweet, which you is do, good. Yes. You do have to like fruity. Like, if you don't like fruity things, yeah. it's not the thing for you. Um but that does taste like if you don't like blueberries, I don't know why you would try it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's blueberry in the name, but if you like blueberries, this is it. I think this is this. This, this is the is beer it. for you, definitely. Yeah. If you're a blueberry fan, Wild Blue is the beer for you. It's very unbeer. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's the unbeer. It's like. This, it did throw, the color threw me yeah. off. I was like, ah. Like, I was thinking it was going to be like a light kind of like thing. Pinkish. Light golden color. It's, it's. I was even like a dark, blueberry juice. Like grape, even like a, it looks like grape juice almost. Yeah. It looks like grape, maybe blueberry juice. Yeah. I, I was thinking maybe like a dark, like if it was going to be like a dark, dark, heavy beer. Because yeah. I mean, 8%. Kind of like more, more like, like, like a Guinness. A, like a Guinness. Like a Guinness yeah. color. Uh, mm -hmm. like really like, black color, but like hint of blueberries. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, like, I was thinking like hint of blueberry. blueberry. I didn't like you know like you get the uh, like the watermelon shandy by Lion Crew. It's like a hint of watermelon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and so I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like a hint of blueberry. No, this is all blueberry with a hint of beer. Mm -hmm. I like to point out that right above the government warning, it says blueberry sediment may be found in this product. Yep, it does. So that tells you right there they use a boatload of blueberries on this. I wonder, and you know, I don't know uh, 
Oh, wow. Well, yeah, obviously. Rude in uh, they used, St. Louis. Yeah. Not too far from here, Illinois. They used uh, juice for the color. It says right on the bottom. Um, this is just... It's 8%. This is so it's, weird to it's me. It's not as easy to drink as, like, Mike's Hard Lemonade. No, you can, like... It's, it's, it's up there. Because Mike's Hard Lemonade, well... I mean, I can't drink Mike's hard because it's too sweet. Yeah, it's this, really, really it's sweet. It's sweet, but it's got that, like... It's not overpowering. It's that sweet. grounded sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some, sometimes when you do these beers, like the blueberry and, you know, the watermelon, they'll get too sweet and just, you know, right away it gives you, like, a sugar high almost. Yeah. But... This one's really mellow. This one's like, really mellow. This one, uh... Mellow sweetness to it. I mean... Smooth. I mean... Great for a hot summer day. Yeah, I mean... Another hot summer day. I'd here. cool off with one of these. I mean, yeah. You don't even need food with this, people. No. I mean... I don't even know... I don't think you can eat food with it. Yeah, like, this would just be a... Kickback on the Oh, porch. maybe a good dessert. Like yeah. a cheesecake. Yeah. I, I, know can, why, yeah, I know why you would eat a blueberry cheesecake or something. If you, I, I mean, I don't imagine drinking beer with a cheesecake, but I think it'd be good with If that. you were going to drink a beer with a cheesecake, this might be like one of the, the, beer that one of the go-to's. Yeah. 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 As weird as that sounds. Like, but other than that, I don't. I like, don't, like I don't, a, I a dessert drink beer. Food. No, I would no, not no. drink it raw food. Uh, Definitely not. Like, I can't even imagine, like, Take a bite of pizza or burger or something, and then taking a sip of this and just no, that's just gonna it be would not way work. Two, two way different drastic tastes. I just love how easy it is. To oh, drink. it is inc- incredibly easy to drink. Uh, it just goes down. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm already down to like a quarter of it left. Yeah. God, this is a. Uh, it's a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Really, I don't have anything negative right now to say about uh, it. What do you think it would be like if it warmed up a little bit? Like I don't even if think the temperature like, went down. I, 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 I don't even think it would be like that bad. Yeah, well, I think like, I think my friend Max when he first bought these, he had he had he just wanted to try and he had it warm and he said it was pretty good. Like it wasn't that big of a deal. I like, just imagine it would taste more like juice. If it was yeah, good. right. Like, if the carbonation went away, it would just be a blueberry juice. I mean... I think the only con is that it wouldn't be very good with food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's nothing I would be like, oh, man, like, I really want to go with a wild blue hair. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, that's not that bad of a con. No, it's, uh, it's really If you're just not, kicking back and some beer, just kick like, it back, yeah. I think this is the chat. perfect, yeah, re- just relaxed beer. Yeah, um, play some, turn some video games yeah. out. Yeah, or maybe maybe even it's a summer day, you know, you had a long day at work. Just kick back. Come home, sit on the porch if you want just some silence. Enjoy the sunlight. Yeah, enjoy a wild blue. Yeah. In the sunlight. And... Yeah. Maybe go on, you know, go go fishing. Yeah, like, oh yeah. Just, you know. Take a back. couple of these on a fishing trip and. Kick back, relax. Definitely. I don't know. It's so like, it's it's so weird. For yeah. Because it is so far from what I expected. Yeah, that's the thing that's getting me now. I was like, expecting everything. Everything about I've, it. I've never tasted a beer or anything like this. I was wow. I was expecting your typical lager, um, with a hint of blueberry. And that's about it. Like, I didn't expect it to be freaking juice. Yeah. It's practically juice. I mean, I know we said that before, but. And for, it's know, a beer imposter. Yeah, yeah. like. Uh, for, and for the price, uh, I, I think I think it was seven ninety nine. Not bad. That's a good deal. It's a good deal for a nice relaxing lager. Especially, I mean, for, you know, yeah. 8%. It, it is a little bit heavy on the alcohol. It's eight percent for a beer. It's a little bit heavy, but you don't even notice. 
Yeah, you don't no, even notice don't. it. You get when you get into the higher uh, alcohol percentages with normal beer, it's you know it becomes heavy. It becomes heavy. It's kind of get that real um, sometimes that real like bitter taste to it. Um, oh, this is there's no bitter aftertaste. I mean, it's sweet to the very end, pretty much. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is. This is just. Hey, this is good, this guys. This is smooth. This is good. Uh, this, <sighs> this, this would be. This could be a go-to. Like I wouldn't mind drinking. I wouldn't this. mind drinking this every week. Each week, you know. Like just grabbing a six-pack of it, chilling. And keep your manhood. You don't feel like, oh, yeah, put some ice hard lemonade. Yeah, just right. Kicking back, like. Because hey, it's a lager, guys. It's not. It's not a lemonade. It's a lager. So, any macho macho men out there who don't want to drink a Mike's Hard from time to time, pick up a Wild Blue, man. I mean, <laughs> pick up a Wild Blue. Get pick that up some Wild on. Blue. Get that blueberry on, man. Just, it's got a manly bulldog on it. Yeah. It's got like I don't even think that it looks like man. that bad. You know, like if I saw it on the street, I'd be like, wow. You know, like that kind of looks cool. like yeah, that. it looks good. That looks good. I mean, maybe if like I saw it in a glass, I'd be like, "Why the f- like?" Because you want to you want to put it in a wine glass, you have it in like a pint. I'd be like, "Why are you drinking wine out of a pint glass?" Right. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely a wine color beer. I mean, the the other the thing I like too is yeah, it's it tastes very much like blueberry juice, but you could tell it's a beer. You know, it's not just overpowered blueberry. Or it's a, very, it's a very juicy, it's just juice you, flavored beer. It doesn't. Yeah, taste, you. Could, but you could tell it's a beer. Like if you want to, yeah, they're not lying. Yeah, like you can tell it's a beer. It's just very. I sarcastically called it a beer pasta. Yeah, I mean, and that's what I thought, kind of too. I mean, when I first saw it and I poured it out, I'm like, oh, this ain't a. This is, this is good, no lager. This ain't not, a lager. It's definitely not what you expected. No. But then when you start drinking, you're like, all right, oh yeah, okay. It's, yeah. You get that kind of that little hint of beer in in the beginning. Very good drink. Very good beer. Very good. Very good, good choice. one. Good choice. Uh, is, is his choice? Yeah, it's his choice. Good choice, Nick. Good choice, Nick. Uh, this guy. I was finished it. It's I finished it. It's literally it's smooth. It just, it goes down. It just it, goes down. It goes down a little too easy. I'm a, I'm a little That's afraid. the dangerous That's thing. That's the issue. That's yeah. the dangerous thing. Is you could put away probably I could you could three or four of these yeah. like that. I've sat down and been handed one of these and drinking it before, but I've never like had a six pack by me. Like I feel like I would just drink them all. Yeah, like Because like you know, I, I, I still think I'm, like, this high, you know. I'm still thinking, like, I'm only at half. Yeah. And I'm looking at, I mean, this is a quarter. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this is definite. I'm, I'm going to start the rating system. This easily, uh, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, I'll push. I want to give it eight and three quarters. I really like it. Yeah. It's, the only drawback is, like Nick said, it's just, it's not a food beer. Yeah. And no, that's really, not. that's... That's kind of a nitpicky kind of thing to say, but I'm sure there's something out there that you could eat it with. Like I, I don't, I don't I, imagine, I imagine it being impossible, but like, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't. There's nothing I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go grab some wild blue for pizza or something like that. Or maybe, maybe some like. See, I don't even know. It's a hard one. Maybe some like sweet and sour chicken or something like. Yeah. So maybe some more like Asian, more geared towards Asian food maybe, because you know they have kind of like the sweeter, yeah, uh, sweeter spicy foods. Yeah. So maybe some worth a shot. I yeah, think. but definitely not like some savory like a burger or, or no, pizza or pizza. something. Definitely not a savory food beer. Yeah. I think I'll give it a nine because yeah. I really like fruity drinks. It's not my favorite, but you know what it it deserves. It deserves high recognition oh, yeah. for me, like, so. Yeah, yeah, like. Almost a 10 out of 10 for me. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Until I started thinking about it. And, like, 
<laughs> going through it. Like, almost, like, without thinking, like, I was going to give it a 10 out of 10, but as I started, like, thinking about it, thinking what it would be good with and what you can do with it and stuff. Yeah. I mean, it definitely. This would be a great cooking beer, probably. Like, to cook with. Oh, okay, yeah. You know? Like, uh, if you want to make a sauce out of something, uh, you yeah. know, throw this in the sauce. I don't know uh, anything about cooking beer. So. <laughs> like, yeah. I bet this would be a good, like, even maybe a beer brat. I'm thinking. That one's up in the air. That when one's I, up in the air. When, when I make, cook, when I make beer brats, I literally buy the cheapest beer I can find usually. Oh, yeah. You buy, like, Pabst for... Oh yeah, you. For I mean, like this would I this I could see being okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not. Gonna, I mean, I would try it. I'm not gonna oh, recommend yeah. beer brats with this because. Well, no, I'm not gonna recommend. Like, 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 I'll try it first and tell you guys first uh, because. I, you know what I? Because the taste kind of still uh, in my mind with the beer brat, but if I had this sitting and I was like, I mean, you would obviously when we make it beer brats, you always go, you know, paps you. Bush, you know, you go with the cheapest beer because it's going to be... Not Bush. No, yeah. Not Bush. But uh, you, go with, you go with the cheapest beer, you know, hams, just to, like, give that product a, a beer flavor. But uh, I could, I mean, if I, I, I wouldn't mind putting it in. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this. Oh, no, beer, no, 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 no. I think I made beer brats with Ice House before, and I thought, I think they were better than the Paps, but I don't know if I used the same, same, like, brat. Uh-huh. I don't know if I bought the same meat, so I'm not entirely sure if it was the meat or the or the beer. Or the beer. Yeah. So I'd have to I'd have to go back through and do a side by side. I think it all depends because I know there's uh, there's a strawberry farm up in Wisconsin that does that does like strawberry brats, and it's kind of like the sweet and savory. So that's yeah, why that's wow. why that's why I was thinking beer brats. Maybe yeah. Oh, I'd have right, to try that. Well, we gotta like, try it this summer. Yeah. However, let us tell you how it is first. Yeah. Um, we'll try it. And I know for sure. Don't drink this with a burger. I yeah, know that no. for sure. It wouldn't be. No. Um, I think if you're gonna have it with food, it's gonna have to be infused with food somehow. Yeah. Or that's, that's or like a thinking. real sweet. Yeah. I mean, what it? What food do you pick with a wine? I don't know really anything about wine. But wine well, is like, I mean, that's like, like wine. state. I wonder if you could stretch wine. this to that extent. Like, I don't. You might. Oh, like, steak pairs with a wine. Try this. You might be able to take out steak with, with a this. beer. But I don't. Uh, and now, I mean, don't call me a wine kind of sore, but I, you know, you don't go with a fruity wine when you're eating. When you're, when no. you're eating. No, you go no, with, no, you know, no. like your you Cabernets. Yeah. You go with your, you know, you go with your Cabernets. You go with your Moscatos. You don't go, or you, I mean, you you rarely go with like a fruity moscato. Oh, okay. yeah. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get the more like dry wine. You go with the drier wine, you know, when you go with pasta, and you go with steak, um, when you go with any kind of, usually any kind of seafood. The extent uh, I know of wine and seafood is like white wine. Yeah, well, most of the time. White wine is seafood. You don't, you don't really. And then like red meat is, you know, red wine. Yeah, well, if you, uh, you. With shrimp, uh, and t- again, not a wine kind of sore. Uh, only what I've heard from uh, friends of mine. You go with a, uh, you go with a red wine with shrimp, but everything else is a is a white wine. Every yeah. other fi- uh, fish is a white wine. Hmm. Anyway, we're getting off topic here. Yeah, we're getting way off. Getting topic. Way off. Uh, this always happens when Nick is here. We get off topic, but. It's it's good. It's a good off topic. Conversationalist. Yeah, it's a it's a good off topic. Um, I don't know. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that is it. Excellent. Yeah. Nine out of ten. Eight. I think eight three quarters. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Guys, check it out. It's a good price. Seven ninety nine for a craft beer. Yeah, it's like I eight mean, bucks. You can try it. Hey, that's a, if you don't like price. it, send it I mean, to us. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I I drink this all the time. Um, I, I think the other beers we bought were nine bucks, nine six bucks. Back. Yeah, the cheapest is this the highest rating you guys have given? So yeah, 
Yes. Yeah. I, mean, I gave awesome. I gave cheap data. You gave cheap eight. data eight. eight I, I gave believe. cheap data. I like. I have to look back on the records. I like this a little bit better. I gave cheap data an eight and a quarter. Um, so I, this is definitely the highest. Yeah, I mean, we're stepping up, people. We're making our way up. We're making Soon our way up. We'll find Actually, we had a good we'll start find with that perfect beer. We had a good start with Lagunitas. No, something. And then um, we had another good one after that. The Fist City, I think. Fist City was, was an okay good, one. Yeah. It was alright. Um, and then it went downhill a little bit with, with the, the uh, Voodoo Imperial Ranger. Yeah. Uh, Voodoo Ranger. And now you know we're back. And here. Now right. we're back up. You we're know, cheap day. Back now up, back cheap up. date, and now we're back up on, like, getting some good stuff, so. Anyway, that's about it for me. Yeah. Any suggestions you guys want us to review, throw them down in the comments. We will read the comments, or I will, because it will go right to my phone. But I will read the comments. I'll tell these guys. We'll make it happen. Um, that's it for me. You got anything else? That's it for me. You got no. Anything else? All right, guys. It's been Jones and for fun. Beer review of Wild Blue Blueberry Lager. Go pick it up. As always, stay safe. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. What? We'll see you on the next. We'll one. see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>